History of Cricket in England. In this module, you learn about the evolution of cricket as a game in England. Cricket originated as a stick and ball game in England around 500 years ago. Till the 18th century, cricket was played under different rules and the stick or bat was shaped as a hockey stick because the ball was bowled underarm. However, as the game became popular, many changes were introduced to make the rules of the game uniform across continents. In 1744, the first laws of cricket were written. These laws specified that the height of stumps must be 22 inches separated by 6 inch long bales. These laws also specified the weight of the ball and assigned two umpires to settle all disputes during a match. With time, these laws changed. For instance, during the 1760s and 1770s, it became common to pitch the ball through the air. This led to the development of spin and swing bowling, as well as the replacement of the curved bat with a straight one. This also led to more changes in cricket laws. The new law stated that the weight of the ball must be reduced to between five and a half and five and three-fourth ounces, and the width of the bat must be limited to four inches. In 1774, the first leg before law was published. At the same time, a third stump was also introduced. By 1780, the duration of a major match became three days. It was also in 1780 when the first six-seam cricket ball was created. The world's first cricket club was formed in Hambledon in the 1760s and the world-famous Marylebone Cricket Club, MCC, was founded in 1787. The MCC published its first revision of cricket laws in 1788 and became the guardian of cricket's regulations thereafter. The game of cricket saw many changes in the 19th century. Wide balls were outlawed and overarm bowling was legalized. In addition, boundaries of the cricket field were introduced and the exact circumference of the ball was specified. Protective equipment such as pads and gloves also became available for the first time. Since the rules of cricket were written before the Industrial Revolution, the long duration of test cricket can be attributed to the slow rural lives of people during that time. Another interesting characteristic of cricket that has originated from its rural past is the uncertainty about the size of the ground. Even today, while the length of the pitch is specified as 22 yards, the size or shape of the ground is not specified. Originally, cricket was played in unfenced country commons. Even after boundaries were written into cricket laws, their distance from the wicket was not specified. The equipment currently used in cricket shows that even after undergoing numerous changes, cricket has still retained some of its original characteristics. Wood is still used to make bats and stumps, while leather, twine and cork are still used to make balls. Bats and balls are also handmade till date. However, with time, some of the material used in these equipments has changed. For example, previously the bat was made of a single piece of wood. Now it consists of two pieces. In addition, the blade is made of willow tree wood and the handle is made of cane. In its initial years, cricket in England reflected the nature of the English society. For example, cricket players were categorized as amateurs and professionals. The rich who played it for pleasure were called amateurs or gentlemen, whereas the poor who played it for a living were called professionals or players. Although amateurs and professionals often played together, they entered the ground from different gates.
amateurs tended to be batsmen, while bowling and fielding was the job of professionals. Captains of teams, whether club teams or national sides, were always amateurs. All these factors reflected the social superiority of the amateurs. As time went by, cricket was considered as a means to inculcate discipline and leadership qualities necessary to run the British Empire. The British used the game of cricket to reflect the larger spirit of sportsmanship and fair play that their Western civilization brought to the colonies in the name of social service. Let's recall what you've learned. Cricket originated as a stick and ball game in England around 500 years ago. In 1744, the first laws of cricket were written. These laws specified the height of the stumps, the weight of the ball and the number of umpires. In 1774, the first leg before law was published and a third stump was introduced. The world's first cricket club was formed in Hamilton in the 1760s. In 1787, the world-famous Marylebone Cricket Club or the MCC was founded. The game of cricket saw many changes in the 19th century. Boundaries of the cricket field were introduced and the exact circumference of the ball was specified. Since the rules of cricket were written before the Industrial Revolution, the long duration of test cricket can be attributed to the rural lives of the people during that time. Another interesting characteristic of cricket that has originated from its rural past is the vagueness about the size of the ground. Even today, the size or shape of the cricket ground is not specified. Wood is still used to make bats and stumps, while leather, twine and cork are still used to make balls. Bats and balls are also handmade till date. In its initial years, cricket reflected the nature of the English society. For example, cricket players were categorized as amateurs and professionals. Amateurs tended to be batsmen, while bowling and fielding was the job of professionals.